Hello and welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate where I show you tips, tricks, and secrets I have learned for marketing with social media, YouTube, and WordPress. Today I am going to show you the number one tip to edit, add text, and media to a video using only your cell phone. Before we get to the video, can you do me a favor and slip down, click the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos that I am posting. And without further ado, just the facts, let's get down to the video. On your cell phone, find Play Store. Type in the search bar in shot. You will see this icon here in shot video editor. Choose install and then once it's installed, open it up and here you will see video, photo, or collage. Start with video. Choose new, choose any video, here you will see trim, here you can trim your video to any size that you would like. You can choose more than one. To add, you can choose as many as you like, and you can add all of them. This is your editing. This is your editing here. You have Canvas in which you can choose different sizes. You can also choose to make your canvas bigger or smaller. You can also pinch your canvas with your two fingers to make it bigger or smaller. You can save the scene that you're working on by choosing the right arrow or you can choose for all scenes by choosing the left arrow. You can add music by choosing one of the tracks here. It's in the use. And once you have your music track, you can then choose the volume you can choose if it fades in or fades out you can choose any effect just by simply clicking on them and listening are transitions games 
bells. Weapons. An airplane. Instruments. Laughter. I'm not saying what those were. Applause. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Footsteps. Animals. birds. And then you have my music. And this is your own music, your own sounds. You can also open from any place on your cell phone. Record. Press down on the record. You will see three, two, one, and record your message. Say you missed something in your video. Pretty links. Okay, there's a space right there. You can record. You can listen to it. This is where in your video. video. Okay, and this is where you can record in your video. You can make it louder. This is where you can record in your video. You can have it this fade in. This is where in. you can record 
in your video. And you can have it fade this out. This is where you can record in your video. This is... You can also split your recordings. And you can delete your recording at any time. This is where you can add a sticker. And here is your choice here. I'm just going to add a couple. The fire, the hands. The subscribe. You can add any one of these stickers here. And then when you're done, you would click on this plus. And here you can see how far they go in your video. If you tap on the left flap, you can do to the clip beginning if you make a mistake, you can choose the undo arrow right located right here. You could also do the video beginning. If you make a mistake, you could tap the undo arrow. You could also do the clip end and the video end. When I am creating a, a video, I usually I usually do the whole clip with it and then delete what I don't need. Yes. In this video, I am going to show you can also split. anything that you see in this editing field. When you tap on the line here, you will see this tab. This is an editing tab. You can drag this over to move your element So when you, if you say you start big, and you want Pretty to mix. make it smaller, but you want to make it smaller at a certain point, you would then choose to make it smaller, and you would make sure this tab is closed. So this Pretty is mix. it would look like. You can add a GIF, and you have many choices. Trending, hello, bye, celebrate, thumbs up, memes, shocked, sad, excited, laughing, Sony, sorry, in love, no, reaction, 90s, fine, and you also have stickers that you can use. Here you have your emojis, and you can choose any of your emojis just by simply tapping on them. And here you can, at any time, you can take out any element on your screen by clicking on this X right there. That will take out your element. Okay, so here you can see this makes your element 
bigger and smaller. This will flip your picture. One side to the other. And then you can do edit. In any one of your elements, you can edit. This will make your element more transparent. By moving the slider, you can make it transparent and also solid. At any time when you click on this pencil, you can use any of these effects here. This will squeeze it to squeeze in. This will squeeze it out. This will flash in from the left, flash in from the right, down, up, fade from the left, fade from the right, fade up from down, fade from down. And you can also choose how it works. Fade from down going out. Fade from down from the from the right. Whether you choose in or out. You can also use a loop. And these are the different loops you can use. And at any time, you can use these controls up here to make your loop or your other movements go faster or slower, depending on how you set this up. When you're done, you would click on the check mark, and then this would then be what is set. You can download other types of emojis or little sayings. And you can use any one of these to create your video. can just simply by clicking in and also if you decide that you do want to use any other element you can also do the flip and you can also do with this element it's already set from the last one you would just click on take away all of the settings and put your own setting in whatever you choose to do. And then choose the arrow. And here are some more that you can download. And when you're done, you would click the plus. And here are the, all the ones that I've added. You can then use clip end, video end, or you can adjust it by pressing down and doing it manually. If you choose split, you have to make sure that when this tab is open, that you move or make your icon smaller, anything that you do that you close the tab so that you can see the difference here.
Another thing you can do is you can copy. So I have this one here. I'm going to copy it so now I have two. For your text, this is your editing field right here, and just going to type in the word text, and you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. At any time, you can also use your emojis down here. And you can use your emojis, your gifts, your emojis. Gifts and also other computer information. Here you can change the opacity of your text. And this will include the label that you use by using this wheel at the bottom. You can choose your label. You have different sizes. You can choose the color of your label by simply scrolling along this color wheel, this color panel, and you can change the color of your label. You can use a shadow This is your shadow here, and you can move your shadow around to make it seem like it's more three-dimensional. You could use a border around your text. And you can change the button. When you choose any one of these here, you will see the dot underneath, and this tells you what you're doing. So this will tell you what your text and your button will look like. And you can also change the color of your text.
I find this doesn't work sometimes. When you click into the flaps, you can go from clip beginning to video to vid video beginning to clip end to video end. And I usually, when I am creating this, I usually use the clip. At any time, you can duplicate or copy your text so you create the exact size text box. This is your edit. And here you can, just going to go back in here for a second, go to my label, choose the label that I want. And then I'm going to go, now I can choose my text. You could choose any text that you see here. It will change the text to what you choose. You could also change the size of your text by clicking on the slider button. You could change the area between each character. This is the spacing button. And then if you have two lines can change the space between your lines. You can cha change the alignment of your text. And here you can use the same type of effects that I showed you with your images. To do the exact same things that your image does, you can do with your text. or you can choose to have no effect. When you're done, you would then click on the plus. At any time to get back into the editing, you would use the check mark. Here is the filter. And you can see the different filters that you can use with your video. You have many types of filters you can use, and you can also look at other filters to see if there's any that you are interested in. Here you have your effects. You have mosaic, flip, wave, and you have your other effects here. mirror, ghost, noise, JPEG, scan, here in the search bar, type Pretty links. And you could go through all of your effects. And then you have your adjust. You have your lightness, your contrast, your warmth, your tint.
your saturation. And this is your tint here. We give you different colors. Your warmth will also give you different colors. Your saturation as well. And here you can change as well. This is your split. When you're listening to your video and you decide you hear something that you want to split, this is where you can split. And here is where you can move your different splits around. If you make a mistake, choose the undo. At any time, when you see these two flaps open like this, you can delete this section. You may have to click it twice until the two flaps disappear. Anywhere that your cursor is, you can delete the section. If you make a mistake, choose the undo button. And you can choose a background. You can choose a picture or you can choose a blur. You can also choose a color for your background. Or multicolors. And then when you're done, you would then either click on this one for the scene or this one for the whole video. This is your canvas, no frame, one by one, four by five. This is for Instagram, post Instagram story, YouTube, TikTok, three by four, four by three, two by three, and three by two. You can also move your slider and this will make your video smaller or bigger. You can also use your fingers and pinch different areas to make it bigger or smaller. This will make it bigger. The, the, uh, sorry, this will make it down to the bottom. This will make it up to the top. And then when you're done, you can go to apply to all, or you could just say apply to the screen. The next one is a pre-cut. So what this one will do is it'll take the section that you've chosen and you can trim your section just by moving in and out to where you want. You can also cut out the middle or you could use a split. You could use a single split or you could use a multi-split. A multi-split will allow you to split different areas simply by using your slider and your plus. And these are your areas that you just split. And of course, anytime you can have your cursor, you can delete anything that you choose. If you make a mistake, you can use your undo arrow. Crop. 
this is where you can actually crop your video if you only want a certain part being shown. For instance, say I just want this part being shown here. We then click on crop and then this part will be the only part that is shown. And if you make a mistake, click on net do. So you can actually crop by Instagram post, Instagram story, YouTube, TikTok. This looks like Facebook. That looks like a Twitter. You can choose. volume. Here you can change the adding volume. Adding the plugin. 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 Here you can duplicate your scene. So what it's done is it's taken the last scene and it's duplicated it. If you make a mistake, hit your undo. This is your speed. Adding the plugin. You can make adding the video, plugin. Your video go faster. Adding the plugin. Or you can make your video go slower. Adding the plugin. Adding the plugin. Adding the plugin. Adding the plugin. You can go into this orange, but adding the plugin. It will require some pre-coding which will take time. You can rotate your actual video in your screen and you can flip from side to side. Okay, so I am just going to delete some sections here because I don't want to. And then when you're done, and of course this isn't going anywhere, <laughs> this is an example. And then when you're done, you would then click save. And here you have quality 1080p, which is the highest, will take the most amount of space. 720 is what YouTube uses. So you would choose the 720 and you will see initializing. And here you can save to any of these places to send it to Twitter, email, Messenger, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. And when you click on this share, you will find other places that you can send it to that you already have on your phone. So you could send it to your drive, you could send it to your email, you could send it to your photos. You could send it to YouTube. You could send it to a another editing program. You could send it to Canva. You could send it to your files, which it already will appear in your files. To your Facebook. To your Twitter. Your Vimeo. Snapchat. Reddit. Or any other places that you have. So I hope this has been helpful. Another thing that uh, I would add is to use this 
this is your this is called mirror screen mirroring if you have a smart tv or you want to cast to your pc depending on if you if you have a pc then you can cast this so you could look at it larger for when you are editing and it will then be shown on your actual uh, 32 inch TV or whatever size TV that you have like for instance if I click on the mirror to TV start You can now see this on the TV. It looks a little distorted because I have a couple of programs running. I hope this has been helpful to you. This will help you to create your YouTube videos or any other type of social media that you want to share right from your mobile phone and you don't have to go on your computer to do it. This is an alternative to creating your content and using your cell phone. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell as I will be posting more videos on a regular basis. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening.